estimation with subtraction. Zoe is going to do a project for her natural sciences class. She decided to do it on a wonderful forest that is close to her house. When she was looking for the amount of trees currently in the forest, she only found the following information. First, on a website from three years ago, she read that an environmental association registered 1,514 trees. She kept looking and saw that in the fall of last year, the association had to cut down 372 diseased trees. There are quite a few years difference between each date. By subtracting the trees cut down from those that were there three years ago, Zoe can work out an approximate number of trees currently in the forest. But since the amount will not be the real one, why not make things more simple? What do you think Zoe has to do in order to get an approximate and useful number for her project. Come up with a number that she thinks is good. Estimate a reasonable number. Do an exact calculation with a calculator. I think it would be best for Zoe to estimate a reasonable number. Exactly. Her best option is to estimate the subtraction. So she will get a result that is easy to calculate mentally and close to the real result. Can you help Zoe? What number should she round the number to? Okay, let's see. Her number is 1,514. If we round down to 1,000, that seems too little. So I think I am going to decide on rounding up. Nice job. Now, where should she round this number to? Our second number, 372. 300 is too little, and it's closer to 400, so I'm going to round up again. Nice job. Now calculate the result to estimate the subtraction. Well, let's see. 2,000 minus 400. I know. 1,000 minus 400 is 600. So just 1,000 more would be 1,600. Nice job. 1,600 is the estimated result of 1,514 minus 372. Since Zoe is very curious, she wants to know the difference between the exact result and the estimation. What is it? I think that the exact result of the subtraction would definitely be lower than 2,400. So let's try 324. That's not correct. So let's go with 1,142. Perfect. When comparing the results, do you think it is a reasonable approximation for Zoe's project? The difference between 1,600 and 1,142 is pretty big, so I am going to select no. There is a large difference. Of course. There is a large difference between the two numbers. It is not reasonable. A good estimation can be done mentally, is quick and easy to calculate, and is close to the original result. In an estimation, there needs to be a balance between the approximation and ease of calculation. To practice, adjust this unreasonable estimate. Instead of the thousands, we are going to round it to the hundreds. It is more precise and the operation will be easier to solve. So now we have an approximation much closer to the result of the operation. Okay, so with this equation, we are going to be rounding to the hundreds place, which means that we are going to be looking at this place right here. Now, our first number is 2,514. 3,000 seems a little too high, so I'm going to round down. I'm going to estimate down. 2,900 still seems high. I think I'm going to go with 2,500 because 14 is closer to the number one than it is to the number 99. So I'm going to round this number to 2,500. The second number 
1,451, I believe that I'm going to take this 1,000 and I'm going to round it up. 1,400 seems a bit small, seems like a low number, so I'm going to round up to 1,500, which gives me an estimated result of 1,000. Let's check. Nice job. 1,000 is a well-adjusted estimation for the subtraction. Zoe's calculation was very easy, but too different from the actual result. Help Zoe adjust her estimation Okay, so we're just going to do what we did before and adjust this estimation equation. Our first number is 1,514, and I'm going to round down to 1,500, because like I mentioned before, the number 14 is closer to the number one than it is to the number 99. As for 372, I am going to keep it at the number 400 because the number 72 is closer to 99 than it is to the number 1. That gives us an estimated answer of 1,100. Nice job! By rounding to the hundreds, we get 1,500 minus 400 equals 1,100. An excellent estimation! Now that Zoe has an excellent estimation of the trees in the forest, she can write that there are approximately 1,100 trees. Now it's your turn. Estimate this subtraction problem by rounding. All right, our first number is 4,656. 5,000 is very high, so we're going to round down. And we're going to round down to 4,700 because 56 is closer to 99 than it is to the number one. Moving on to the next number, 3,491. I'm going to round this number up to 3,500. Oops, I need to go back down. To 3,500 because 99 is closer to 91 than 91 is to the number one. So then we have 4,700 minus 3,500 gives us an estimated answer of 1,200. So I'm going to put my answer up here and check my work. Nice job. Now you know how to subtract using estimation. Keep practicing in your sessions.